Good morning. Welcome to Southington High School's capstone course, guiding your journey that leads to your vision of the graduate from Southington Public Schools, specifically Southington High School. My name is Carrie Louise and it is my pleasure to guide you through our Southington High School's capstone program this year. During the day, you can find me in our technology and engineering department where I instruct Project Lead the Ways Digital Electronics and Engineering Design and Development, as well as the Architectural Engineering and Design course. Partnered with my colleague, Mr. Michael Gagnon of the English Department, we will provide you eight capstone lessons supporting your journey to complete your personal vision of the graduate. You can contact me at any time at klouise at southingtonschools.org. This is the fifth of eight classes this year, and this video introduces you to the concept of creativity, as well as provides you guidance to select your individuals, individual pieces of evidence for your personal e-portfolio. So you may ask, why creativity? Let's turn to our vision of the graduate for its basis. A graduate of the Southington Public Schools will be college or career ready and prepared for life beyond by mastering the knowledge and demonstrating the skills to communicate effectively, think creatively and critically, and contribute to the global community. Today we will focus on one of the vision's six C's, creativity. At this point in time, you will complete the do now. First, you will take one minute and think about the word creativity. Then you will complete the do now, specifically recording your thoughts in the Canvas lesson text box for today. Advisors, please stop this video now to complete this exercise. You will continue this video after two to three minutes. Now that you have entered your ideas into Canvas, with a peer next to you, Take one minute for each person to explain their personal meaning of creativity. Add any additional ideas that enhance your understanding to your responses in Canvas. Be certain once you've added to your responses to submit your Canvas assignment. Your capstone advisor will ask you to share your ideas in class. Advisors, please be sure to stop this video while you complete your turn and talk with your students and have them share your ideas or their ideas with your peers. You will continue this video in approximately five minutes. Now that you have considered some ideas about creativity, let's look at a definition and see how they influence your understanding of it. According to lucidmeetings.com, creativity or creative problem solving, CPS, is a method that attempts to approach a problem or a challenge in an innovative way. The process helps redefine problems and opportunities to come up with new responses and solutions. In order to assist your selection of evidence, Southington Public Schools has adopted rubrics for four of the six C's. According to the rubric, creativity includes the following skills. Thinking creatively, using wide ranges of ideas, creating new and worthwhile ideas, and elaborating, refining, analyzing, and evaluating ideas. Working creative, creatively with others by developing, implementing, and communicating ideas, being open and responsive to diverse perspectives, and demonstrating originality and inventiveness. Demonstrating courage to explore by viewing failure as an opportunity to learn. And finally, implementing innovations, action on creative ideas to make tangible and useful contributions. Let's have a brief look at its performance areas. The creativity rubric looks at six important strands. Idea generation idea design and refinement, openness and courage to explore, work creatively with others, creative production and innovation, and finally, self-regulation and reflection. 
a copy of the rubric has been posted in this section's module in Canvas for closer examination and your reference while selecting evidence for your portfolio. At this time, you should review the, the proficient column of this rubric. Advisors, this video can be stopped now and resumed in five minutes. Now, think about your work over the past year. Consider the following questions. When did you practice creativity? How were you creative? What did you learn about your ability to be creative? You may want to consider at this time the rubric as you answer this question. Additionally, you may want to consider your participation in the following. Music performances, video, PowerPoint, Google slide presentations, paintings, drawings, sculptures, construction, electrical, mechanical, metalwork, business, engineering, math, science, social projects, or any other creative work you may deem as best work. Now, review your experiences from your last year and choose your best three examples of creativity. Open your Google site ePortfolio, access your creativity page, and insert each piece as a document, PDF, or photo. Be sure to include a title for each piece of evidence in the appropriate text box. Where identified, complete the reflection of why you chose these three examples. Now you can use the remainder of the period to complete your evidence submissions for a total of three, as well as your reflection validating your choice. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask your classroom advisor for guidance. If you are unable to complete the gathering and recording of evidence during this capstone period, please be certain to complete pieces prior to our next capstone session. We trust you have enjoyed completing your third step of your capstone journey on your way to fulfilling Southington Public Schools' vision of a graduate. And finally, thank you for your work and we will see you next month. Any questions, please direct them to your capstone classroom advisor or guidance counselor. Until next time, bye-bye.